The first rule of Fight Club is good luck and have fun. Only shooting stars break the mold. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Brawl Stars. I'm Amy the Amazonian, and today I'm playing Fight Club with Legolas Master Archer. This is a mono green deck that cares about targeting your Legolas and your opponent's creatures. If you cast a spell that targets Legolas, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. And if you target your opponent's creatures, Legolas deals damage equal to his power to those creatures. And if you have a spell that targets both Legolas and an opponent's creatures, you get both triggers, which is fantastic when it comes to fight spells and bite spells, talking about dealing Legolas's combat damage to your opponent's stuff. This deck is a bit of a voltron -y deck because you need to protect the Legolas, which means that we are running lots of ways to give him Hexproof and Indestructible, Hexproof and Indestructible, Hexproof and Indestructible, and then have him fight things. This is also a really cute deck because it is very reliant on the commander. Only Legolas has an ability like this, so you really do need him on the battlefield to get some work done. We have a teeny tiny bit of ramp, mostly these one drop creatures in the deck, but you can see that the curve is pretty low. I did add in a couple of good green spells into this deck because, well, we're a green deck and we gotta run some good green spells. But for the most part, we're just trying to get Legolas huge and smash through with our commander. This deck is very fun to play. I actually uh, had a good time testing it. And yes, he does have two separate triggers. So if you have a roaming throne in your deck and Legolas on the battlefield, you can double each of those triggers separately, so long as you've named Elf. I don't have a problem, okay? I just, he needs a comfy chair to sit in. Let him sit in his chair. So we're going to take Fight Club into the queue and we're going to target our opponents with a whole bunch of spells. Smith Weaver Pock, this ding dang cat that keeps doubling people's lands. You stop that, Pock. Uh, I have some fighty stuff, but their Pock will probably be bigger than Legolas. Thankfully, we can double some of our abilities. Thanks, Roaming Throne. You're the real MVP. Uh, I'm going to start with a Lanor Elf to counter their Elvish Mystic. That's right. We're both ramping. What? Why are you looking at it like this? Colony Garden gets them a plant. Delighted Halfling. <sighs> okay, um... I could technically kill one of these, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. I'm going to go for Season of Growth. Tommy Bamber Groves. Scry. Play the land. Put the land into play. I do want another land. That's good. So Pock will be able to come out and double a land here. Oh, this deck, uh, like this card was actually already in Arena before Enchanting Tales. Season of Growth, I think it was M19 or M20. One of those. All right, Pock out here making lands like crazy. Oh, that Roaming Throne is so tempting. Soon, but not yet. First, we're doing some scries. I do want to ram through. I'll take it. We're going to use Animus Might on Pock. Um... A lot of stuff happens. And we're also going to use the additional mana to kill Delighted Halfling. Or uh, the additional trigger. Because this deals twice damage. Which is perfect. Um, I do draw a card. Thank you, Season of Growth. And I'll swing in with these two. It was M20. Nice. Yeah. I do like the new art, though, is Season of Growth. Very fairy tale -y. They do have mana for Pock. They'll have to crack open the Fabled Passage first to get it. They could also just like, I don't know, use the gate to Manor Born. I think they want to play the Pock. If they play the Pock, we can kill the Pock. I think. We might need a light. Hey! What do you mean God Pharaoh statue? Oh my god, that's so rude! This is a, a dire debate here of, do I kill Elvish Mystic? Or do I set up the throne for even more kill and triggers? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kill the Mystic. Uh, Legolas, hit that thing. 
Get rid of that. Drawing cards is good. I was hoping to get uh, some more lands too, so we can get to things like Boring Collects. This way, they would have to play a land before they play Pock. Hopefully we find some of our uh, artifact removal. We do have a lot of artifact removal in this deck. One of the benefits of being mono green is that a lot of mono green good stuff, things like Titan of Industry, Reclamation Sage, are all good at getting rid of this specifically. Um, Vorinclex is more damage right away. Roaming Throne is just the funniest though. So we're gonna name Elf. We're gonna get a Scry. I don't really want to land. Swing in with these guys. One, two, three. I have not had Roaming Throne and Legolas together in a game yet because they either killed this or killed this first. So I really want to make this happen. Here comes Pock. They're going to play a land. It's going to get them double lands. Shaman. What are you going to name on the other one? Elf. Giant. Ah, somebody's got prime times. How many Whispered Hopes? Do I have enough mana for both? I don't. Lame. Um... Bite his ass. Eat him! Triggers! Triggers, eat him! Die! Ooh, Shadow Spear. I like how the spell didn't even resolve. Uh, five. Okay. I'm gonna play the Shadow Spear for going one damage here, since we did not have lethal. All right, Paw. What do you got? Okay, yeah, that's a good card. Cityscape Leveler can destroy Legolas, giving me a Power Stone. But we have lethal attackers. Unless you play like a land on a land or elf. But I didn't. Ooh, a Beast of Queesting. Vorin collects. Ooh, who do I want? The choices? I'm going for the Quest and Beast. Testing Beast, we scry, looks good, can destroy that. We're gonna give him a stick. We didn't even need to play this. Just making sure. Good game, Mythweaver Pock. Boy, yeah, Jaws of the Conclave. I need to make sure I have some early ramp. Land or Elves will certainly do it, because we're going up against Elves and some Wolves. This is a kind of a scary commander, and it's really rough for us because their commander has Ward. Ward 3, which means that targeting it with fight spells is going to be a lot more expensive. At least we got, uh, got some good fights and bites for their early elves. If they play a mana rock, we can destroy it. Certainly could be worse. Monkey? Excuse me, monkey? So I can play a Legolas here, but he won't be protected. He won't be able to do anything right away. So I think it's actually probably safer for me to just use the Cosmic Hunger to kill Ragavan. There is no monkey. There's never been a monkey. Because Voya has access to white, this isn't just a gruel deck. They can do a lot more than just, you know, and just burn and fight. All right, there we go. So now we can get our Legolas out and kill another elf. Sure. There we go. Loads of damage. It's wild that Animus Might deals damage twice, twice to its power. I don't know why. It's cool though. If I can get my Allosaurus Shepherd, we can get through Ward for free. Yes, and we do have Allosaurus Shepherd in this deck. Um, I think it's important that we just keep killing their elves. So I'm going to keep killing their elves. I could have waited with this uh, until their turn, but then they could have gotten Voya down. And I'm scared of that. Right now they have no white mana. Consider that a good thing. This would have gotten them white mana. Gwenna, also untapped. 
Turn Timber and Marwyn. All right, Marwyn makes loads of mana, but I'm all out of fight spells. Let's go for the Queesting Beast, the Beast to Queest, and swinging with all of these guys. She only makes green mana, but she can make a lot of green mana. Oh, they found a white source, but it comes in tap this turn. Amy just out here murdering every elf she sees. Die, elf. Die, elf. Marwyn now taps for two mana. Okay, royal treatment, Rex Sage. I'm just gonna go in with all of these. Every last damage counts when we're just trying to break through the line here. That's totally fine. Um, we have four. This would be two, uh, four, five, six, seven. This would bring it up to nine. Um, but I don't think I need it this turn. Because it would get uh, the royal roll, which is plus one. And also a plus one, plus one counter. Instead, getting at the Reclamation Sage. Okay, Marwyn's tapping for two. We also do kind of want to save this in case they do have something that does killy stuff. Oh, they're tapping. None tap, and they're trying to figure out how much mana they have. It's always possible that they'll be able to like play additional elves, um, and then tap Marwyn. Delighted halfling. That is, that is not an elf. It is good though. Good fixing. It's good ramp. Stops counter spells. Come at me, Nissa. You come at me. You looking at me? I'm looking at you. You gonna play Voya or not? Why aren't you playing Voya? It's gotta be some kind of killy spell. I'm trying to think of like elves with flash. All right, questing beast is is going in unfettered. Ha! And that's why we held. Our royal treatment! Treating this quest and beast like a queen! GG, Voya! Jaws of the Conclave. Yuri, Master of the Review, is a Recto Sacrifice Commander. Uh, this is not really what I want for my opening hand, but the Serith is really nice. If we had more lands, I think it would be good. This is a little slow, too, but we have a tiny bit of ramp. Uh, we got Gem Razor to destroy stuff. We have a Fighty. We have a bitey. Sure, that seems okay. Hmm, yeah, I'll save this to be a uh, creature next turn. The goblini. Hello, small goblini. They want us to die. Get down the Mox Amber, so when we play Legolas, we'll immediately have mana up. A Goblin Trap Finder is one of those weird alchemy cards. <laughs> it gets you a self-sacrificing creature. Nice. Hi, Yuri. Yuri's awkward to kill for us, too, because it can then, like, move its damage. All right, so they're just going for Yuri this turn. Sweet. Uh, we got some triple snow. Am I willing to lose my Tangled Florahedron? Yes, very. Um, I can go for the Blizzard Ball, but I think I want to save that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Legolas. Doing the bitey stuff. And also killing the goblin trap finder. Nice. And they'll kill the tangled florahedron. It's a two for two. 
Kind of. They get an extra card in hand. This weird goblin's card. Oh, it's time for violence. Murderous Rider, they have murdered Legolas. Oh, cool. That's the thing they got that gets uh, auto-sacrificed. Neato. Uh, I was hoping to save the Gem Razor uh, to be a mutate, but I don't think we need it as a mutate. I think playing this as a 4-4 with Reach and Trample is a good use of our turn. By the way, there is a downside to using Gem Razor to mutate in this deck. Um, if you target Legolas with it, and then you put the Gem Razor on top because it would make him bigger, he stops being an elf, which means Roaming Throne no longer doubles his abilities unless you name Beast. I know. Tragic. Would you like to play your soon-to-die murderous rider? If I want to save it to sacrifice it to the priest. Hmm. Oh, damn. Brawlin? You have more removal. They have a deadly dispute, so they're going to sacrifice this in response. This is not modified, so we will not draw a card off it hitting. But getting rid of the priest before it untapped is important because we're a deck that's running so few creatures that if we're forced to sacrifice one, it can be devastating. It's some of the best removal against a Voltron-y deck like this. They have six mana, so they have a treasure from the Deadly Dispute. Logobos! Logobos makes a 2-1 elemental that dies. But it does sacrifice itself, which means three triggers for Yuri. Ah, I thought sees. There goes my Kenris Transformation. Oh, man. Kenris Transformation with Legolas is really cool because it targets your opponent's thing. And then Legolas punches it. Nice. Elemental. Am I willing to take two damage, or do I want to risk the block? I'll risk the block. This thing will get sacrificed anyway. Yeah, cool. So they want to sacrifice it. And they draw some cards. Ooh, Tyrite Sanctum. Uh, sorry, Legolas, you are on the back burner now. I have a legendary creature. And that legendary creature is going to become a god. Boop. Because this is now modified, we get a plus one, plus one counter on it. And we got ourselves a free land. Very fresh, very rad, very cool. Got two four fours with trample and reach on the battlefield. They're at six life now. And my creatures are dead. Mm. Hmm. Trying to decide between Serith and Legolas. Oh, Legolas. Serith helps protect Legolas and gives him either Death Touch or Hexproof, depending on the position of the card. Ah, Rude Dude Jude. Jude is going to ping things when critters die and also make their creatures a bit stronger. They could gain three life by just like yeeting in the Murderous Rider. Oh, wow, you are bolting in a land? This is really brave. So I'm, I'm not blocking this because when this dies, and it will die, um, it will get to ping. 
<gasps> Ooh, and they're also getting a hit with Ragavan. So I have a choice here of, do I want to kill the Ragavan, which will also lead to Legolas dying? Or protect the Legolas and hope we get a good draw? I'm going to just let this happen. I'm going to hope that they hit a land on top of my deck. Um, okay, they got Delighted Halfling. That's not bad. That's another blocker for them. And they get two, or uh, they get one ping from that dying. And then Ragavan will go back into their hand. Nice. Okay, so we got Master's Rebuke here. Uh, we're going to start with Sarath. Or do we want Sarath? No, I think we want Tyrite Sanctum. Uh, I'm trying to decide how this resolves. Okay, so we want the Rebuke hitting this. And then that hits Judas. So this way they don't get a ping off of the, uh, the Halfling. I guess I didn't need to use the Tyrite Sanctum. I could have played Sarah. I was trying to figure out, like, how much damage I'm getting in there. The answer was... Not enough. But now that he's a god, we can make him indestructible next turn. Yeah, the death touch didn't make a difference. This way it looks like I still have a fight spell, too. Secret to everyone. Ragavan swinging in. They did dash him. They have enough mana to play uh, Yuri as just like a blocker. Aw, oh, man, I have not drawn Season of Growth in any of my games. Why do you get to draw my Season of Growth? I'm kind of super jealous. Please don't kill it. Don't kill him. Uh oh, they're playing Season of Growth. I guess it gets you extra scries. Not bad. Listen, this is... This is not Lord of the Rings lore that your mommy had. Oh, they can sacrifice the Season of Growth to Braids to draw a card. Oh, that's smart. Because I don't have an enchantment. Going out here with the big brain maneuvers. Right now, though, like, they're set up to just braids has to chump block. Unless they have something else for their one mana. Oh, I wonder if they're trying to decide between sacrificing this and that. Oh, hey, they have a sticky fingers. Oh, that's perfect. It gives them a second, uh... It gives them a draw off the Season of Growth. They sacrifice Monkey? Not Season? I'm just doing this now. I'm impatient. Block your god! <laughs> I now have an indestructible Legolas. Oh, hey, Ashnod. Ashnod has death touch, but so do I. They get to scry one, throwing it to the bottom. They already used up a board wipe, and I feel like Yuri probably runs two board wipes. In, in a Yuri deck, I would run um, the the red one that deals damage and makes treasures. Spiteful Banditry, I think is what it's called. It's from Lord of the Rings. Ooh, three blockers. I'm just like really hoping we get a uh, trampling spell. Like, I'm hoping for audacity. If I attack in with both of these, um, I think Ashnod blocks Sarath, and Legolas gets blocked by... Doesn't really matter, probably Shambling Ghast. Um... I think it's better to just attack in with Legolas and hold Sarath's Hexproof ability. 
Indestructible. Indestructible. Reminding you, indestructible. Unsure. Meatuck Massacre is also good with Yuri. Yeah, because of the passive drain ability. Forsworn Paladin can now get Death Touch um, using this treasure, but that's fine. Okay, Orcish Bowmasters. I don't have card draw. <laughs> Not much card draw, at least. If I wanted to feel safer attacking with Sarath next turn, um, I, sh I should have besaged the treasure before Yuri resolved. But they can still buff up Yuri for big trades. Would become big enough to kill Sarath. The death touch makes a bit of a difference. Okay, let's go. You know what? Could be worse. The one ring gets us protection for a turn. That's nice. But it also is going to draw us a bunch of cards. We don't have that much card draw available in this deck. So it definitely comes down to doing what we can, when we can, to draw some cards. Okay, so they're buffing up Yuri. And they're doing it... Okay, Ex excuse me. Sure. You know what, let's get all the mana. I have a land I can play. Mm-hmm, that's fine. Ping away. Stops the amass. We go in with Legolas. Not with Sarah. This way, if Yuri dies and they were setting him up to die, he can't kill Sarah. Loses the death touch too. Extra nice. And now Zareth has Ward! I'm still holding on to the Besejo. I know I could have played it. I could have given Legolas uh, a bit more defense. Probably should have played it. I feel like it's not going to be that big against them. Ooh, passing straight through. We lose a life. Cosmic hunger. I like that. It can kill both their creatures. Lands, lands. Lands, lands, lands. I don't care. Right, I need to kill. I should have killed it first. I forgot card draw happens. They get data mass. Are you sure you want to hit Sarah? That costs a lot of mana. I guess you have mana. I should have uh, Cosmic Hungered first, so they would have fewer blockers. Ding. And Bong. A fine Bing and Bong. Legolas! Um, yeah, that's the creature I control. Yuri, that's the creature I don't control. We have two attackers. They have one blocker. Hit my face, baby. Let's go. 
we get through? Oh, finally! Getting that last damage in with Legolas. GG. Tulane, Teller of Tales. Tulane is a very strong commander because whenever you cast a creature spell, you draw a card and can put a land into play. Which means that if you have some stuff that, let's say, makes mana on landfall, like Lotus, Cobra, Nissa, or Tireless Provisioner, you can keep generating tons and tons of mana, drawing additional creatures and lands, and digging deep into your deck. Um, this is usually a deck with tons of mana dorks in it, and uh, it usually plays really well. Bant colors have strong creatures, as it turns out. Kept this hand because it has three mana in it. And a little bit of turn one ramp. Oh, look at you also getting turn one ramp. How dare you. No covered forest into play. That two lands. And they will have an uncounterable commander, but that is fine. We don't have counter spells. We're a mono green deck. The goose! I have to decide if I'm worried about them having removal here. I think I want to be aggressive, and this is the most aggressive I can be. I think the other thing I could have done here is uh, try to cut them off from playing their commander, make the assumption they won't have a land here, and bite the Flora Hedron, but I feel like they do have a land. We'll see. No, no land. Okay, cool. So I could have gone for that. Um, instead, it's time to start massacring things. Are these identical? Oh, well, one gets the poison. That's fine. Uh, I think we'll kill two mana dorks. Rather than killing Chulain. You got anything that costs two mana? Oh, they have something that costs zero mana. They have an Ornithopter. Didn't get a land. Hmm, Cat Neverheart. No land. Tulane, where's your lands? Tulane? Where's your lands? Um. Hmm. going to kill Chulain here. Yeah, he's like a massacre elf out here. He's getting so many kills. Gimli's going to be so jealous. Where's your third land? Third land! Congratulations! Horns is going to go super wide. I'm now out of um, fighty biteys. But I have protection. Protection, good. Um, this is a different sort of protection. I'm gonna play the Arcane Signet. Swing in with Legolas. Decide if I want to protect or set up with the Sword of Once in Future. I'm gonna protect with Gaia's Gift. Fear of the Swords to Plowshares. Nice. Voice of Resurgence will make a uh, token if I cast something on their turn. Big token, too. Animus Smite. I drew it this turn, so it does get taxed. Uh, but we're going to kill a couple creatures here. We're going to kill Torrens. And I think Captain Everhart or one of the mana dorks. I don't want to kill the Voice of Resurgence yet because it makes a giant token. And I'll play these sort of ones in future. It only gives protection from blue and black, so their commander's blue. But I don't want to hold up the Gaia's Gift because I don't want to cast things on their turn. Hopefully we get one more mana and we can bring out Kogla and start fighting things with that too. Ooh, a somber Wild Sage, that taps for a lot of mana. That's going to be our priority to hit. We got a tail swipe. We can hit two more creatures here. Um, doesn't really matter if we uh, 
Give him one of these. Just keep taking out these critters. Big critter hitters. Oh, 69. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Sarah. I'm going to swing in with Legolas. I have a feeling they'll just block with one of these. Oh, nope. Never mind. They're letting it go through. Prowling Serpapard. Gotta stop those counter spells. <gasps> land! We love lands here. Uh, I'm gonna give... Legolas a sword. Sorry, Kogla. I know you want a party. Now I have the ability to untap Legolas uh, in order to give him Hexproof if I need to. Nice! Now these human tokens tap for mana! They can almost recast Chulain. Trample good. Trample very good. Especially with Death Touch. In we go with the Legolas! This will let us obliterate a lot of their board. I assume they'll chump block. Who's blocking? Voice of Resurgence. We're charging through. But you know. We don't have lethal off uh, Gaia's gift here. This would give me two additional power, um, which would bring them very low. Oh, nice food, bro. They get a cool token. But that token is going to be going away. Uh, one ring and a land. I'm down with both. Uh, we're going to recast... This infectious bite. Picking up Katilda so they have less mana. And the big token so it's more easy for us to get through. Play this land we've got. Bring out Kogla. Him monkey. Him big. Him good. Uh, destroy another one of their creatures. They had so many mana, mana dorks. But those mana dorks were so killable. Aw, Inganesica! Oh, these are mana dorks again. I love Inganesica. I still want to build her as a commander. Um, play a land, and everybody, get in here! The trample from Gaia's gift will win us the game. So tempting to, like, just let you do the honors. Ah, beautiful. And, um, I don't actually need death touch. I just need trample. Indestructible monkey! And a Legolas! Swing it in for loads of damage. GG, Tulane. Rocco, Street Chef! Rocco is going to be exiling cards for both players and allowing us to play those cards. It's pretty nice to have. Because if somebody plays one of those cards from exile, then you get to put a plus one plus one counter on your creatures and make a food on one of your creatures, I should say. It's actually technically on any creature, which gets weird. Y you can technically put tokens on your opponent's creatures? I don't think you'd want to. Alright, let's go. Legolas! Legolas, do violence! Kill that elf! No, wait, that one's a human. Doesn't matter. Double kill him. Kill him twice. Three mana. A goose! Aww, they're telling Legolas to get lost. That's really rude. The only thing I have mana for is the meanest thing, which is Defense of the Heart. Defense of the Heart is a very silly card. It literally punishes your opponent for playing the game, and I kind of wish they would take it out of this format, but because our deck is so awkward, I feel like it does make sense as like a, hey, if we get really far behind, this gives us a way to catch up.
kind of like Nissa here because we have the Nykthos. So that's what I'm going to do. Nissa paying with our blood that I have that good Phyrexian mana and then plussing to make uh, one of these guys. I guess I'll also... Yeah. Dig deep. Use my map token they gave us. A budget tooth and nail. Ain't that the tooth. This Nyssa gives us so much devotion from Nykthos, though. It's kind of awesome. Hi, Rocco! Rocco found an invasion of Gobakan. Easy, we'll just make sure there's nothing in our hand worth hitting. Uh, make a little guy. I wonder if they'll have a soy to plowshares. Oh, it doesn't matter, we have a blossoming defense. Heck yeah! Hmm start swiping. Some fine bonkery. Ah, they left. Yeah, that's fair. We fought their commander straight out of the game. The first sliver, and probably the only sliver. The first sliver cascades on cast, which means that it comes down fast and hard, bringing out usually ramp spells or a board wipe when you cast it. If it's actually a slivers deck, it will actually do even more than that, though, because it will, you know, give your other slivers cascade too, which is great. Uh, we've got some nice turn one ramp here. That makes me very happy. Uh, but I don't think I want to play Legolas on turn three, since I won't have a way to protect him. Instead, I'm going to bring out Kodama, because next turn I have the potential to modify some creatures and get some ramp going. Dramatic Lantern, okay, sounds pretty good to me. Does give them all their colors, but they already had really good access to colors, so like, besaging this and giving them a Trium, I don't think would make that much of a difference. Uh, I am going to go for Shadow Spear, saving the Rune of Might. Um, the reason I'm saving the Rune of Might is because it will get the trigger off Legolas, whereas the Shadow Spear won't. We hit our opponent, and we get a land, since we hit them with a modified card. Key to the Archive. Now, this is going to be worth hitting with the Besaju, because we'd be turning two mana into one mana. Uh, I can do this now, after they've figured out what spell they want. Key to the Archive does get you a very powerful spell in hand. And if we can make that spell harder to cast, then that's great. Uh, we want them to hopefully not play a land here. Okay. Great. I've got plenty of land, so I will turn your Key to the Archive into one mana. Pick a land, any land, as long as it has a basic type. Probably either a Triome or you're trying to, like, hit one of these. But Seijo is, is two mana to channel if you don't have a legend. But since we have a legendary creature, <laughs> we on easy street here. I I could technically use one of these um, just to get more mana. It's probably worth it. I don't gotta give you Trample yet. You'd get Trample anyway since Kodama's out. For other stuff. Boom. And kaboom. Gets us two lands since we had two modified creatures. And we have a royal treatment in case they target Legolas with something. Um, I like that we have eight lands. Makes me happy. I wish we had something that gave indestructible. But we don't, and that's fine. Finding the old gods, what will they target? Um, I can only protect my creatures. But I feel like they will try to hit one of our creatures. Maybe Kodama? Nope, they're going for Legolas. All right, Leggy lass. You're getting Hexproof until the end of turn, which gets you a plus one, plus one counter. And a royal protection. This gives them more one. More one's good. 
Hey! Hey, you give that back! I guess I can at least prevent the damage to face. These two don't kill each other. They just vibe. Hmm. Am I willing to sacrifice a creature to get a little bit more damage? I feel like I'd rather not. But it is tempting since we have enough mana to replay Legolas so easily. I think this is fine. I'm just going to make him a little bit tougher. I'm also going to crack open a cold one. With the boys. I guess the boy, the spirit, and the spirit. I really like the little bamboo shoot guy here. He's so cute. Okay, fight rigging is going to get them a spell for free. Fight rigging, by the way, is a maybe in this deck. I know it's a fight club deck, but like it doesn't do that much since Legolas has to get to seven power first. All right, what'd you get? Kaya? What? It's a cold oh, Diet Coke Evil job. Queen. It is a cold one. Aw, bye Kodama. Kaya exiles it. Gone five ever. I think I'm just going to swing both of these at Kaya and then play Vorinclex post-combat. I do want to get rid of her. And they don't know what I got in hand. Now nah, it's nothing. Move my commander to the command zone. And then play Vorinclex. Vorinclex is going to get me two forests. Gotta love a good forest. I'm gonna play Legolas. I don't have any fight cards here. So instead, I think I will just give Vorinclex a stick. Death-touching first sliver. We don't actually have that many creatures in this deck, but I do think it's going to be worth it to try to flip over Vorinclex in most situations. Except, actually, he's being exiled. Rude. Vorinclex is a dude, Phyrexian. Oh, I have some indestructible. Uh, they'll also be able to like bounce stuff. But we have an extra land we can discard. So that's fine. Uh, I could try to throw the lair in at them. I think instead I'm going to go for Zoopin' and Boopin'. What are you gonna bounce? My leggy lass. Okay, Legolas goes back into hand, and I'll drop this extra forest. I don't think it's worth burning the Tamiyo's safekeeping on that. Yeah, you got five color good stuff. What do you want to do with it? Cascade some more. Bleh. Alright, so uh, the cards we've seen here are not ones I enjoy, but they did cascade into a board wipe and they didn't want to cast it. I think next turn, we're gonna have a big land. To decide if I want to rebuke something. Since if they cast a big spell, it will get Cascade. I can get, um... I can get enough damage with Master's Rebuke to kill Okagachi because of how these resolve. 
Okay, see what they target with Ulamog. I do have a way to get around Indestructible. Okay, so they are going for the Lair of the Hydra. That's completely fair. Hmm, I really need to have this Shadow Sphere. So I am going to protect the Shadow Sphere. I wish it tapped that. It didn't re recognize that it's happening. Oh, you could just wipe the board. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Okay, board's wiped. Yeah, they sure have one sliver in their deck. Ah, uh, so much mana and so little to do with it. <laughs> Legolas with the Shadow Sphere. Twelve, twelve, Ulamog. Guess what? I'm taking the hit. I have 39 life. No blocks. Let's see what got uh, hit here. Some pretty good cards got hit. Oro draws them cards. I'm gaining some life and lets him put lands into play. Such as Rockfall Veil. You can also escape it. They do have nine cards in the graveyard. But instead, they're going to conquer Legolas. My man's not even allowed to stick around for a single turn. Elf. I love Elvish Mystics like... Me? Yeah, buddy. You. Go get him! Ha <laughs> ha! Two damage! Die. That'll show him. Yeah, that'll show him. Go get him, sweaty. Go get him. My master's rebuke costs four mana now. They want to make sure they leave a creature planeswalker in their graveyard for Elspeth Conquer's death, since it will reanimate. Am I gonna buff up Uro? Nope, more of the Mog. Pog and a Mog. I think they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They could replay first sliver too. I wonder if they will. Keep cascading into board wipes. Nope, it's Golos! Hi, Golos. I can kill Golos next turn. They'd be able to bring him back, but like. I guess they'll kill him. Sylvan Smite. Our opponent was the starting player. Mind me. Just gaining a lot of life. By, by the way, I, I, uh, I only have 35 cards left in my deck. So, uh... Oh, Ulamog's probably taking me out. Hey, Golos! You gonna spin that wheel? Golos, you gonna, you gonna grab a land? Maybe a world tree? Spin that wheel. Do it! Activate Golos! And hit three lands somehow. I think they have enough to activate him twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus seven. No, only six. Hmm.
At least if they cast a board wipe, <laughs> I can destroy Ulamog. It's all I have going for me. Uh, they got a land, uh, a land, and a land. Told you they'd hit three lands. But now they can spin again. A land, uh, infinite free spells, and reanimation. I'm a witch! Yeah, you go to chapter one. Uh-oh, chapter three. Wait. What creatures? Aro Emoti? Okay, well, uh, you have a 3-1. Congratulations. Oh. Chandra. Get a free Cascade. Hit Arcane Signet. Thankfully, they are fresh out of freebies now, since they cast their one free spell per turn. Uh, you can minus one and kill Elvish Mystic. Infinite free cascading spells? Wow. No, this only lets them cast one spell for free each turn. I'm not saying that's bad. Alright, no land, not a land, not a land. That's uh that's a land. There's not that many lands in this deck, but by golly, we sure have a lot of them. Ulamog just needs to attack and we have nothing left. A fitting defeat. Nykthos, not now. I said not a land. Not a land. Do you think they'll go for the nice and simple kill me? Or do you think they're going to take 10 extra game actions? Are they going to be a considerate opponent? Yep, just attacking with the Mog. You know, I appreciate this. I appreciate this a lot. Good game. Good game. Life total high. Uh, card count zero. We go to draw. Oh, first we take one damage. I'm sorry. And then we lose. A fine mill victory for the first sliver. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brawl Stars. I hope you liked seeing Mono Green in action with Legolas, Master Archer. This deck is most similar to my Shelob deck because it's full of these fighty bitey spells and it's really fun to play. Also a great way to uh, get into the spirit for the holiday, playing a little bit of Mono Green. If you're looking for the deck list, it is in the description of the video. And if you'd like to suggest a commander for us to brew, please let me know in the comments. We've had lots of fun suggestions and we actually had a ton of like good mono green ones for today, including cards like this Nissa, who I've never built as a commander, and Finn, the other Nissa, the other Nissa, Goraclaw, Freyalis, Oyer Kaslam, and Kodama. So many mono green decks that we can get to. And of course, all of the other fun suggestions that people have had. I'm going to try to get to as many of your decks as I can. Uh, also, if you liked the video, let me know. Leaving comments helps boost us in the algorithm. So the more comments, the better. Thank you so much for watching and have a brutal day.